Howdy YouTube, Esnix here with a little update video on an issue I had discovered uh, about a week ago, a couple weeks ago, with Calamares and the installation process, particularly the mount options. And I fixed my ISOs in the way that I uh, found very quickly. And the problem was that the installation, when setting the EFI partition mount options, did not seem to apply. And Calamaris has an issue with their documentation, their mount.conf file, uh, indicating a file system type of EFI and then mount options, whereas EFI is not a file system. So the solution I came up with is to specify the VFAT file system for the EFI partition, and that does work, and then the options are applied correctly. I reported this problem to Adalto over at the Endeavor project because Endeavor was one of the only, well, the only Arch-based system using Calamares to install that actually set the EFI partition options properly or according to their own settings. Whereas every other Arch-based system, my, my own included, with the newer version of Calamares, the 3.3 series release, did not. Um, as I said, my new ISOs are fixed, and the Easy Archer ISOs dated March 17th, 24, will install uh, and set up the EFI partition with my specified mount options. Now, as I've said, I've done this by specifying VFAT as a file system. When I reported the issue to Dalto over at Endeavor, I noticed that he had already fixed this problem in the Endeavor uh, fork they use of Calamares. And I asked him if that fix would be sent upstream because I also knew that Dalto does work with Calamaris. He contributes to Calamaris project as well. And I noticed that he has uh, ensure EFI partition gets correct options. So it's good to see that. It's also good to see that Dalto is on the case as well with adding the microcode uh, statement to the init CPIO config file in Calamares. Uh, that's a new change that Arch made uh, using the microcode option as one of the hooks in MK init CPIO rather than uh, specifying it as uh, a grub boot option for the um, kernel during loading for microcode, either AMD or Intel. So Dalto is uh, fixing uh, one of the, the few people who are fixing problems with Calamares. Now, I took a look at a few popular Arch-based systems, Arco being on the screen here. And this is installed in uh, VM. It is installed with the EFI system enabled. And if we take a look at the mount point for EFI, we can see that it is readable by users. Now that is the issue. In Calamares and in most EFI installations, the EFI partition is mounted to be non-readable by users, uh, only root. I don't know how much of a security issue that is, 
but I know that in all of the testing I've done, and that includes Arco Linux, it includes Endeavor, it includes Archman, it includes Garuda. Now I use the Garuda um, ISOs, the testing ISOs, uh, because the last release of Garuda would not be a suitable test. I don't believe they used the um, more recent Calamari's uh, version. Although I didn't test that, I didn't want to take waste time in doing that, assuming because of the age of their ISO. So I used their most recent ISO, which does use the more recent uh, up-to-date Calamari's versions. And in all my tests, Endeavor was the only system to properly mount the EFI partition. Now, if we take a look here at Arco Linux in ETC and take a look at the FS tab here, where is it? There it is. Let's open that in Mousepad. We can see the EFI partition is mounted defaults no A time. That is because the Calamari settings that Arco uses defaults to defaults no A time for default file systems. So it got applied to VFAT. If you look at their Calamari's uh, configuration, their mount.com file for EFI, they do specify defaults UMask 0077, which did not get applied. So I can tell that the Arco Linux installation here does not uh, respect the settings the same way mine did not respect the settings. Hopefully this is uh, making some sense to someone. But my conclusion is that if you're going to try an Arch-based system, Endeavor at the moment appears to be the only one where its developers are, are actually on the ball in terms of problem solving with Calamari's. And maybe that's because they fork Calamari's. And unlike every other system that I've seen, my own, my own included, rely on compiling a Calamari source directly from Calamari's and then adjusting it as needed from there. However, uh, Endeavor uses their own uh, source tree for Calamari's, their own forked repo. So that's all I have to say, really. Uh, if you want to give Easy Archer a spin and make sure it works, you can go ahead and do it. I've been testing it almost every day since I built it, and it's worked perfectly every time. Whether I do manual partitioning, auto partitioning, whatever file system I choose, whether it's ext4, btrfs, or xfs, those are the three options I give. So hopefully that clears up a little bit of this problem with the mount options in the Calamari's configuration. So thank you, Dalto, for looking into this at my suggestion. Uh, he, as well as I, are surprised that no one has noticed this up until this point. I did, I'm not surprised that he didn't notice because he had already fixed it. So Endeavor doesn't suffer this problem. Now, how much of a problem it is, I really don't know. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this little tidbit of information. And go get yourself an ISO. If you want an Archbase ISO, I can recommend Endeavor. And I always recommend my own spin. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun. You'll see me in another one, folks. Bye-bye.